Hello everyone, welcome to my channel please subscribe and hit the bell icon. Curse of Oak Island hints Vikings arrived in the past. The Curse of Oak Island hinted that Vikings possibly arrived on the island in the past. This comes as the team waits for the tunnels to allow them to go underground and explore the rooms they believe might hold treasure. Here is a look at why the guys think that Vikings arrived on the island. The Curse of Oak Island hints at Vikings. In the last episode of The Curse of Oak Island, the team found a mysterious artifact. They then said that the artifact might mean that Vikings arrived on Oak Island over a thousand years ago. This was a positive moment on the show, especially considering that things didn't go well for the guys up to that point. This was when government bureaucracy stepped in to halt the excavation. Luckily, there is a lot to explore on the Curse of Oak Island. Even now, after so many years, the team has picked over the entire island for clues. However, they are still finding things. Gary Drayton and Jack Beckley went to Lot 8, and they found a metal plate with an insignia on it. The copper object on Oak Island proved to possibly be extremely old and European. This last The Curse of Oak Island episode added some conjecture to the object. Mayan expert Dr. Edwin Barnhart looked at the copper object again and said that it was only made in Europe. He then said that he felt it could have Viking origins from somewhere between the 8th and 11th centuries. According to Dr. Barnhart, the Vikings used brass to place over several objects. He also said that the Vikings could have reached Greenland and Newfoundland during the 10th century, and they could have arrived on Oak Island. While everyone talked about the Templar Knights, the introduction of Vikings sends the timeline back even more years into the past. Also, remember, the team found a Viking coin on Oak Island in 1996 on Lot 5. When will fans go underground on the Curse of Oak Island? The entire discovery and discussion of Vikings happened around the same time that the plans to excavate the garden shaft screeched to a halt. While the Curse of Oak Island guys hired the Duma Mining Company to excavate for them, the Canadian government stepped in. Unfortunately, they stopped everything for now. This is because the entire operation was labeled as a mining operation since they were excavating. While this was just to get underground to find these possible tunnels and rooms, the government sees it as mining. This really threw off Rick and Marty Lagina, who knew that this would make it stretch out for a longer period of time. The Curse of Oak Island has long fascinated treasure hunters, historians, and conspiracy theorists alike. For centuries, this small tree-covered island off the coast of Nova Scotia has been the focal point of numerous treasure hunts and investigations. While the island's history is rich with tales of hidden riches and mysterious artifacts, recent discoveries suggest that the true story of Oak Island may be even more intriguing. Among the myriad theories about who might have buried treasure on the island, one of the most captivating is the idea that Vikings may have visited Oak Island long before other explorers and settlers arrived. The theory of a Viking connection to Oak Island gained traction with the discovery of several artifacts and features that hint at a Norse presence. One of the most compelling pieces of evidence is the discovery of what appears to be a medieval cross. This small, lead cross was found during an excavation on the island and bears a striking resemblance to similar artifacts from Viking sites in Europe. The design and craftsmanship of the cross are consistent with Viking-era relics, leading some researchers to believe that it could have been left by Norse explorers. Adding to the intrigue, historical records and sagas suggest that the Vikings were adept sailors who explored far beyond their Scandinavian homeland. The Norse sagas, particularly the Vinland sagas, describe Viking voyages to North America around the year 1000 AD. These texts mention a land called Vinland, which many historians believe to be part of modern-day Canada. If the Vikings did indeed reach the North American continent, it is plausible that they could have ventured as far as Nova Scotia, possibly leaving behind artifacts and structures on Oak Island. 
The island's unique geological features also support the Viking theory. The so-called Money Pit, a deep and complex shaft, believed to be the site of hidden treasure, exhibits engineering techniques that were advanced for its time. The intricate system of flood tunnels and booby traps suggests that whoever constructed the pit had significant knowledge of engineering and construction. The Vikings, known for their impressive shipbuilding and engineering skills, could have been capable of creating such a structure. Moreover, the layout of the money pit bears some similarities to Viking ship burial practices. In these burials, important individuals were often interred with their ships, which were then covered with mounds of earth and stones. The concept of burying valuable items in a deep, well-protected pit aligns with Viking burial customs, hinting at a possible connection. In addition to the physical evidence, oral traditions and folklore provide tantalizing clues about a Viking presence on Oak Island. Indigenous Mi'kmaq legends speak of mysterious visitors to their land long before the arrival of European settlers. These visitors, described as tall, fair-haired people who came in great ships, bear a resemblance to Norse explorers. The Mi'kmaq also have stories of a sacred island where powerful artifacts were hidden, an island that some believe could be Oak Island. The Viking theory is further supported by the discovery of carved stones and symbols on the island. Some of these carvings resemble runic inscriptions, the ancient writing system used by the Norse. Although these symbols are weathered and difficult to decipher, their presence suggests that the island may have been visited by people familiar with Viking runes. The idea that Vikings could have reached Oak Island is not as far-fetched as it may seem. The Norse were known for their long-distance voyages, having settled in Greenland and explored parts of the North Atlantic. Recent archaeological discoveries, such as the Viking settlement at Lots Ox Meadows in Newfoundland, confirm that the Norse reached North America. This settlement, dating back to around 1000 AD, demonstrates that the Vikings had the capability and knowledge to navigate the treacherous waters of the North Atlantic. If the Vikings did visit Oak Island, the implications for our understanding of North American history are profound. It would suggest that Norse explorers reached the continent and interacted with its indigenous people centuries before Columbus. This potential Viking connection also adds a new layer of mystery and excitement to the already enigmatic history of Oak Island. While the evidence is still largely circumstantial, ongoing excavations and research on the island continue to uncover new clues. The Lagina brothers, who lead the current exploration efforts, are dedicated to unraveling the island's mysteries and have expressed a keen interest in the Viking theory. Their discoveries, combined with the work of historians and archaeologists, may one day provide definitive proof of a Norse presence on Oak Island. In conclusion, the curse of Oak Island continues to captivate and mystify. The tantalizing hints of a Viking connection add a new dimension to the island's storied past, suggesting that Norse explorers may have reached its shores long before other European settlers. As researchers delve deeper into the island's secrets, the possibility of uncovering definitive evidence of Viking activity remains an exciting prospect. Whether or not the Vikings left their mark on Oak Island, the search for answers promises to shed new light on one of history's greatest enigmas.